Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Grind. I hope you're doing well this morning. I got a little story for you today. A number of years ago, 12, 15 years ago, I'm not sure exactly how long, uh, I was starting to make some changes in my life. Wanted to get a little closer to the spirit and just enjoy life and figure things out a little more. So I learned the art of the shamanic journey. I was reading some books on it and I was reading a book by Michael Hanner, The Way of the Shaman. And there's some exercises in there on doing these journeying and kind of help you practice and get used to it. And if you don't know what journeying is, it's like a, it's, it's kind of like real deep meditation. It's just a way to connect with spirit and relax and figure things out. Anyway, one of the journeys was to imagine yourself going somewhere you wanted to go and just imagine yourself leaving through a window or something and, and going to this place and enjoying the trip. So I decided I was going to take this nice trip down to this place called Oakland Nature Preserve down there in Florida. It's a beautiful place, a lot of nature. It's peaceful. It's quiet. It's very calming. Uh, so I opened up a window in the camper. I put my headset on, got the drumming going, started the journey. The way I was going, headed down there. Soon after I started, I was stopped. And these giant, all I can think of is like these giant black jelly beans just going, just going by me in, in my head. That's all I was seeing. And I was thinking, so I want to go down to Oakland and have this nice journey. And then all of a sudden, this went into a little split screen like up in my head. And these little black jelly beans just kept going, pew, 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 pew. And I was off having this nice, meditation this nice journey down to oakland nature preserve it was beautiful it was peaceful i was interacting with nature i was down by the lake it was just this nice relaxing journey but all the time these black jelly beans choo, 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 choo. well i ended the journey i came back i get up i'm writing it down and processing it all and i realized there's a major highway right out in front of this campground i was staying in and there's a lot of traffic i wouldn't call it a highway but main road you know Four, five, four, six lane road out there, and all these cars going choo, 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 choo. And those black jelly beans were all the lost souls in those cars, just choo, 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 choo. just in a hurry to get to the next place so they could hurry up and get that done and get to the next place. Just in a hurry. Lost souls. In the meantime, I'm down in Oakland having this wonderful journey, having this wonderful experience. It's a few miles from there. None of these people are there. They're all just choo, 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 choo. so. The moral of the story is, don't become a black jelly bean. Don't become a lost soul. Don't get so wrapped up in the ways of the world that you're just going, 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 and you don't stop and enjoy life a little bit. Stop and smell the roses. Relax. Slow down. Don't become a black jelly bean. That was a pretty good moral to that story. For me, it was a great lesson, really. All those people out there just in a hurry to get to one place, to be in a hurry to get to the next place. At the end of the day, they're exhausted. And they hadn't lived. They're just in a hurry. And they get up the next day and do it. Have you ever been that way? I know I have. I've got caught in that trap. I know a lot of people that do that every day. They just get up and they rush through their day and they don't even really live. They just rush through all this stuff. And uh, that's no way to live, man. Slow down. Relax. Smell the roses. Have a great day. And most of all, don't become a black jelly bean. See you tomorrow.